Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Now I'm a little bit late on this video, I was meant to make it around about a week ago um, but I just never got around to it, so I'm just going to make it today. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the fact that April update is pretty much confirmed as well as two of the new cars coming with the update as well as a bit of a bonus about the Toyota um, racing series for 2023 being announced and a chance to get a free livery. So the first part of the video I'm going to talk about is this, the two new cars coming with update 1. I don't know, guess 1.32, um, which will be the Toyota and Honda versions of the brand new Super Formula 2023 model, which is, well, new for this year, hence the SF23. It's the updated version of the SF19, and it looks absolutely stunning in my opinion. Those extra curved wings just really suit in this, these cars down to the ground. There will be two versions again, um, like previous, there'll be the Honda and the Toyota versions, both Delara chassis. We also have the addition or announcement, I guess, of the Toyota Racing GT Cup for 2023. And if you participate, you will get a free livery for the GR010 Hybrid, which will be the updated 2023 livery for that car, which is pretty awesome. I'm guessing that you only need to participate in a single one of the rounds. So with all this being said, this basically confirms that an April update will be on the way. So we already knew two of the cars, that being the Honda and the Toyota Super Formulas, the SF23. A car that's been speculated since I believe as far back as January was when I first mentioned it. Um, so yes, that is coming with the April update. It was previously kind of leaked with the patch notes. Um, I guess prior to update 1.31 when that was all kind of going off um, so yeah it's pretty awesome to see it officially confirmed yes this is a bit of a delayed news I just haven't got around to it I've been super busy um, in my personal life but I did think it was worth mentioning anyway and a cool little side note is that they are fully up-to-date race cars. These are brand new for 2023, and they are coming straight to Gran Turismo 7, which I think is a fantastic thing for the game and for the Super Formula series as a whole. The fact that their new cars are straight into a game, and for Gran Turismo, it kind of gives them, I guess, more credibility. Obviously, the partnership with Super Formula and such is a fantastic one to have. It really does kind of boast and, and really boost overall kind of the credibility of Gran Turismo in the world of real world motorsports as well as this we also have the Toyota um, racing for 2023 which is I believe going into its fifth year again boosting the credibility obviously Toyota doing a massive esports push at the minute now there is some to be uh, I guess to be declared or whatever um, on that kind of calendar if you go and look at the Toyota racing championship a lot of people saying this could be the cl classic GT1 Toyota I think it is more likely going to be the 2023 Evo version of the um, Toyota hypercar um, I think more realistically again with Toyota's partnership with Gran Turismo and this whole series it would make sense that towards the end of the year Gran Turismo 7 will get the updated version ready for kind of the finals and such so you know I wouldn't hold your breath on it being the GT1 anytime soon but overall, I think it's great for the credibility of Gran Turismo in terms of real world motorsports and esports pushing and kind of all that route that they seem to be going down. I think that personally, the Toyota Championship, the Toyota Racing Series is fantastic to watch at the finals. Last year, it was an absolute blast to see. And I think it will probably be the same this year. It would be kind of awesome to see the, you know, the pros at it at the end of the year um, and kind of how they perform throughout the year. It's definitely one of the better series and you can get your hands on a free livery, which will be the 20th. 2023 livery i'm assuming it will go on the model that we already have in there which is the 2021 model of the toyota hypercar it is obviously not the updated evo version so it was just a quick news video really talking about the fact that April update is confirmed. We already know two of the cars coming with the update. I will be surprised with kind of what they do with the Super Formula, whether it will get its own cafe menu and series and such. I'm going to assume so. It would seem a bit weird that they just put the cars in the game and then completely forget about them. So hopefully they get some nice supported series just like they did in GT Sport. And hopefully we will see some other awesome additions with the April update. Now, obviously, that is going to be it from me today for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe i always try and keep you up to date as as much as possible with the news around gran turismo and everything going on i do apologize that this video is later than you know i really wanted to hope for and that you guys probably would have wanted it covering on the day you know kind of prior to 
you know, I guess this week. I believe it's been up for around about a week, this news so far. Um, so again, I do apologize for being a bit late on that one. So that is going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day and I will see you all later on, guys. Take care. Peace.